my first thought is, how do I beat them? I don't think of anything else. In the world of chess, Tani Adewumi is a rising star. He was eight years old when he won the 2019 New York State Championship in the K through third grade division. He'd been playing less than a year. I had the confidence, but after I won three games in a row, then I started to really build up that good, 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 stable confidence that never goes away. Chess team coach, Sean Martinez. It doesn't happen every year where you see a student who learned a game after just one year and they're performing in the toughest scholastic tournament, probably in the country, not only in the state, performing, uh, you know, pretty much perfectly. He's undefeated. Tani's unlikely victory spread quickly throughout the media. The story of the young boy who found his love for chess while playing with his brother in Abuja, Nigeria. My brother made paper pieces with tape and we just started to move pieces around. We move illegal moves everywhere around the world, but it was, it was always fun. Then the whole story began to unfold. Just a year earlier, his family had fled Nigeria, threatened by terrorists who vowed to kill them. The Boko Haram, they are killing, they are bombing the market, the mosque, the church, everywhere. Despite the violence, Tani's father, Coyote, had been able to run his printing business until the day he refused to do work for the terrorists. Then they showed up at their home. One point they got gone at me, I was on the floor. One said, let's use her as a message to her husband. I can't really say what they are saying, what they mean. It might be raped, might be killed, or so many things can happen. I don't know what to do. But to me, I was just praying to God that God, Please save me. Save my children. Thankfully, they left without incident. Still, the threats and visits continued, and Coyote moved the family to Okure, Nigeria. And they just knocked and came in again. That they even come out and say that we trace you down to Akure. Yeah. Now they will get you tonight. You will go and meet your God yeah. today. Yeah. Finally, the family secured visas and a flight to Texas to stay with relatives. In the plane, we don't know, we don't even think about whatever we have lost in the past. We don't look back. We don't look back. The only thing we have that thank God we have somewhere where we can put our head, we're safe. Nobody come onto our door any day to harass us. In December 2017, after a short stay with their relatives, they landed in a homeless shelter in Manhattan. Tani, now in third grade, joined the chess club. At once, his coaches saw he had talent, passion, and a work ethic he learned from his parents. He worked his butt off, and that was one thing that really separated him from many was like, when it was time to have fun, he wanted to practice. And when it was time to play, he was the first one there at the board. I was always pushing. Even if there was no prizes, I just wanted to have that feeling that I'm doing well. As Tani ventured into the tournament arena, victories were scarce. His mother, Oluwatoyin, would pray with her son, explaining that it takes patience and prayer to find success. And when he was praying, he said, God, I want to come back home with trophies because he used to see trophies in, the, in their chest room. I said, yes, God answered your prayer, but it might not be your time. The time and success was coming as he started racking up the wins. I don't really think about who I play. I just play the game and go to the next round. Play the game, go to the next round. With the New York State Championship coming up in March 2019, Tani's coaches decided to take him with the team. Even then, he wasn't expected to go far. However, miracles do happen. Out of 73 players, eight-year-old Tani came out on top. The coach said, Tani, did you know what you just did? Did you know what just happened? So the director just grabbed him, throwing him off. Tani understood what his mother had said about God's timing and prayer. He helped me with chess, so he gave me the confidence. Um, I prayed to him and he answered. That was just like the beginning of something really phenomenal. 
that something would reach far beyond a chess tournament. As Tani and his family's story captivated the media, it also grabbed the hearts of the public. Tani's coaches set up a GoFundMe site that raised over $250,000 in 10 days. One family just called me and gave me a brand new car. And another person, I rented the apartment for us for a year. God let the whole world know that he can brought somebody from the scratch. Yeah, from nothing, from nothing to something. God still has something to do that he wants the whole world to see that his whole God is the truly God. They launched the Tani Tolua Adewumi Foundation to help families in need. Tani plans to keep working and praying to achieve the coveted title of world's youngest grandmaster. He and his parents share their journey in their book, My Name is Tani and I Believe in Miracles. God is um, always with us and it gives me a sign that more things are going to be ahead of us. Good things.